Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 and welcome to the channel. Uh, in the last episode we built this little um, go through uh, monorail enclosure um, with a viewing dome in the middle. Uh, I can put something up here, I will. Um, and we also put in our uh, Uteranus. And our little guys over here so in this episode I'm gonna build over this section and we're gonna see what we can do I was thinking like oh I'll, I could I could see if I could put a lagoon around this central part so it's just like a round swimming area uh, unfortunately it's just too small um, I just couldn't remember if I could get something around, but that's fine. Um, so I'm going to put the lagoon, and I go to the correct one, which is in here. I'm going to put a small lagoon up here. Just kind of go as... Okay, I think I'm gonna, yeah. So it's gonna be a bit of an L shaped lagoon. It is what it is. Uh, I'm also going to put a Avery in here. Am I gonna do a glass dome Avery? Because I just feel like it being a desert y enclosure. Are these the same size? No, they're a bit smaller. I was thinking maybe I could put the lagoon down up here for a moment there. That's a bit frustrating. And uh, we should be able to put an Avery I think I should be able to put an Avery up here uh, the because this should theoretically go around Shoot. hmm I might have to move the, uh, I may have to move that, or I might just have to put a monorail going through it. I'll move it, it'd be easier. Because it's kind of not what I'm going to do, so what I can... Just put that one there, and put, um... And that it won't fit round there because of the uh, same issue. So if I put that there, I should be able to put some fuming galleries around the side, and then again just go around. My plan will be for the. Right, I am going uh, to just kind of go out and around a bit. Get rid of that bit. So if I... I'm just kind of trying to plan this out as best as I can at this moment in time. So I can put one, one kind of there, and maybe one here, and then I've I've got space to do um, a 
and I've got space to go around them there. What I'm thinking in here will be um, either a lug or a dome. So I can put a lug around. Yeah, I'm going to do a lug. So I can put that there. Um, I can kind of, kind of what I did up there. I can kind, I can cut this bit off, and this bit off here, and I can put guest facilities down here, and this can just be like a walkie decorated path based area. So maybe like um, some kind of um, tour going around there. And I can also put like a, just like a fume gallery here. See if we can spot some of our friends or maybe another lug. Or another dome. Just something. So, um. Let's go to guests. Let's go to you because I need a monorail. Monorail. I'm going to put this around here. And then, that's probably not the most, you know what, that's probably quite, that's quite, that's not the best. Because at least then I can, I can put something, maybe I'll put the hotel there. So if I can put a large hotel around here that's going to be like that's going to be a much better area to view than there so over here i've got oh yeah i'm going mostly with the uh jurassic park style There we are, that's like two birds, one stone kind of thing. I've got a few in gallery and I've got my hotel. So if I put that there, oh, that's just because if it's a bit more of a odder shape. So effectively, I want to be able to. Um, sorry, um, I need to put a tour, so I'm going to put a, um, a gyro spear in, because it's just, um, the main thing with the gyro spear is that it protects the the people more 
So I'm going to fence this bit off. Jurassic Park. I'm just going to put that there so it's it's fine. And I want to put this. Uh, going across. I, I might just have it. I just want it to look a bit um, symmetrical with the not path, not path. I want rocks. I want me rocks. So I want that there. And that there, that there. And then I can kind of make my... I can make my uh, path for it. My track. Because the other thing I'm going to need to do is... Um, attractions... Why? Because if I put this here... One thing I'm going to have to make sure that I can build around um, where I'm going to put the path so, it, so I need plenty of Base and make sure it's not this is all just going to be I could probably put another enclosure going through here if I really wanted to I don't know if I will And then I can just kind of link link this part up. So I can just kind of put like maybe a toilet and stuff around there. I can. So what I what I do want to do as well, just to help me keep track of everything. I'm gonna colour the gyro spear tracking with the with the rock, so I can I kind of can identify where it's coming from. I might. I gotta send that the other way around to be fair. Um Bienvenue à la station des gyrosphères. Le moyen de transport idéal. There we go. So now it should be, yeah, they're coming out from there. So it's a bit more of a
put these nice green trees around so it's a bit more of a feature. So I can kind of see what's happening. So I've got this space for like some amenities and I was hoping it was going to squeeze in around there but I can put that there and I can put the shelter up here as well so that just helps with certain things maybe I can put some small amenities down there I don't think I'll get too much out of it but you never know around there so I'm just going to put a fancy equipment because I don't need anything really um now toy the sword mosasaur and the chronosaur this is going to be way too small I could do the Alamosaur. I don't use the Alamosaur that much. I'm going to do the Alamosaur. I'm going to make it humble. Because I'm... I'm a, I'm a bit um, nervous. So, um... Also, the fish last a lot longer than the... Um, than anything else you know what actually I'm gonna I'm just gonna switch this around because I think them being there for the fish would be a lot better. Right, let's see how this works out. So there's three. We'll see how three goes. Uh, might be a bit iffy, but I can put... I can put one here. Maybe one here. I can put them along here as well. Maybe I just... Just make this green.
just put some palm trees around here so it's So it's a little something something um in here because it again it's not gonna be a um I might get it I could do the jello anything else eat the books no I'm the oops wrong I didn't modify oh well I'll I'll change it in a moment Yes. Modify. I want to get some interesting colours. Some feeders hit either side so people can see them. Okay, I've got terrain restraints apparently. Me am I getting seven? I could quite, I could do quite a few of these because they're they're small, and there's plenty of bug feeders. Um, it feels like the sun's setting, but it's just the. Uh, Just the way the just the way we're positioned. Knew I'd get it out eventually. Neaten that up a bit. A little bit of ground fiber around. Right, let's see what happens. If I can put a few more in, I might. But we'll see. Deering. I'm extremely passionate about the dinosaurs and about our responsibility to take care of them. We know that all life began in the sea, the primordial soup. Some creatures made their way to shore and started the chain reaction of land animals. Others stayed in the oceans. 
like the Elasmosaurus and set the pattern for the marine life that would follow. This beautiful animal has a long neck and a flat tail. With the right setting, it should really attract the crowds. Right, I'm just going to look at area and if, if area doesn't seem to be uh, an issue, I will put a couple of more in. Because it is expanding a bit, I could, I could put one or two more in, I might, yeah, let's do two more. See what we get. You'll be fine once they, uh, there we go. So sand, they're happy with open space, plenty of water. So the aggressive, large appetite, and aggressive. Okay, we'll just do the one then because it's the only humble. Yeah, Finch isn't talking about these at the moment. seem happy it's all right my controller was buzzing so it's like i got something trying to break out they're fine you're sleeping so okay See, because this is a lot better than the dome, because um, the dome was just too low down. Hopefully they'll land on the top of it. Large round eyes of J. Holopterus provide the hunter with excellent vision in low light environments, allowing this Jurassic pterosaur to expertly track its target and launch a swift attack. So what I'm going to do now, just to finish up, I'm going to um, create an enclosure for here. I'm not going to put anything in, that'll be for next time. And and because I think it's going to take a bit of time. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll stock the this large uh, enclosure and we'll finish um building around here and up here so i'm guessing yeah they're gonna want shelters and toilets up here which we can which we can do now there is a uh it's a few in entrance i thought it was a bathroom we can do that bit as well it's fine put that there and i can put a shelter in front of here And we can put some palm trees around this bit. Yeah, uh, whatever. Whatever. And if we do want to do a small one, we can put some walls around down here. And large up here. One, two, It'd be close, but I can do three. Oh, I can do one on this side along with a, um, a guest amenity. So, um, I'm mostly just, am I going to put the food in? I'm just mostly just going to plan out the, 
the water and it's a bit odd how it won't let me do that bit. But I like that. I like that little like bit in between. Um So, what I am going to have to put in here at some point, um, will be a Stegosaur. I haven't got a Stegosaur at this moment. I have got a, a Ceratopsian. So that's, that's fine. Just do this little bit around here as well. That's fine. I can fight. Um, and then it's just going to be food. I am going to put a large sauropod in here. So um, let's go over to the hatchery. Have a quick look. So what I'm thinking is I've got a Margosaurus and I've got um, Nigerosaurus. I could just do Brachiosaurus. Am I going to do the Alamosaurus? Because I, I can't, I can't sort that thing out. It's a, uh, it's a challenge. Um. Could do um chunking along with like a another mimus. I don't think I've got I haven't got a galley mimus or or struvio mimus. So I can put a mimus in. I can probably put um a guana done in. Um maybe if I do the chunking or the hyangosaurus I'll do the giant spinosaur as well. So that would be ground leaf if I do that and the chunking is fruit. So what is the joints box? That's gonna be that's gonna like massively determine what I put in if it's a it's a leaf. So just to help that I'll put yeah, so it'd be those two. Um A Patasaur's tall leaf as well. So So what I could effectively do is put this as the tall and ground. So that should be enough for those species. 
Um, so if I do a patasaur and those two stegosaurs, um, just a quick look over again. That's fruit. Um, galley is. ground leaf and I think and Shrupia is ground leaf so that kind of sorts them out fiber for the hadrosaurs ground fruits I could do ground fruit and fiber because the hadrosaurs mostly eat the fiber, so I could do um, Edmontosaurus as well. So, so over here, just in case some of them come over this way. And then finally,
I think that looks alright. And yeah, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.